Hey, how you doing today? This is my Kawasaki 70, 750 SS. It's a 1994, I believe. We go in here, and what my problem is, is when I push on my starter button, I can hear the click of the solenoid. I can hear the starter motor, which is down under there, whirring, but what I can't hear is the motor turning over and the motor does not turn over which means the starter gear is gone and I'll show you what that is real quick here that would be this right here and when the starter turns it throws out the one direction it doesn't do anything where it, it's normally sitting like this and then when you hit the starter it comes out and as it turns the centrifugal force drives the starter gear out like that Okay. Now, that's not happening on this one. This is what it's like. This is directly out of a Kawasaki that sank pretty much within the first couple months of use back in 1993 when I was able to save it out of my XI. And that should be the same one. I'll find out when I take it out, but that's what it's going to look like. Now, what we're going to do is we've got to go in there. And it's behind the cover okay and we have it's going to be see that little round thing in the mirror right there that's the that's the end of the starter drive so I got to take this cover off right here and I'm gonna have to take the flywheel off okay and what, what you're gonna have is you have some bolts here that are 10 millimeter so I have to take those off and let's see I know there's one on the very bottom and there's one over here, right there, that's two. So there's going to be one on the other side, that's three. There's one there, that's four, there's one on the other side, and there's five. So there's, I'm assuming there's ten bolts, or nine bolts, nine bolts, ten bolts, something like that. But, uh, I, actually, I could probably get you a better picture so you can see for yourself. I can't see what I'm doing here. Maybe with the video. You can see what that looks like. I hope we had a good amount of video there. And what I'll be using is my 3's ratchet with a 10 millimeter. I'm going to try it with the long socket, but I might drop it down to a short. Okay, we're going to let you go for a couple minutes. Okay, I've switched to the short 10 millimeter, and you got, we'll start at the top. You got your one, two, three, your four. And I'm just showing you the locations. Your five. Down on the very bottom. You got your six. And you got one over here. Your seven. What the hell is it? One over here. Okay. One. Two. Three. Five, six. Okay, there's seven. Seven bolts. And okay, now I showed you what you do with that, and you can even see the bottom two if you look real quick. cover you can see it down in there you can see the gasket I got the gasket at that little o, big o-ring and what I'll be doing is I'll be pulling that out and cleaning that up before I install but one of the interesting things if you look down here you can see where there was a little bit of moisture in there and what it collected on the flywheel 
And remember how that started here was was turning. I don't know if you can see it with my big old hands down there, but there's the starter gear. There's the starter gear. And I'm going to try to get you a better picture. There it is, and how it goes and engages. And when it goes back in there, it sits, it doesn't engage. And when it turns, it comes out and it's supposed to engage, like right there. But when I'm sitting there, I can't turn it with my fingers, so that means this bad boy's locked up right in here. And to get this out, I'm going to have to take this bolt out and then find a puller. I guess I got to feeling around trying to feel for holes. Yeah, well, I'll figure out how to get that off in a, in a couple, I guess, but that's what my problem is. It got water down there, it got corroded, now it's not coming out. I may be able to just take it out, take it apart and lube it off because it all does come together with snap rings. But I'm probably going to end up using this one. Fits in there like that, that's how it's oriented. And again, how it went working properly. See how it opens and closes there? If that's open and closing, that's throwing this gear forward where it engages the flywheel. So something must be stuck in there, corroded, whatever. But depending on how easy it is to get the flywheel off, it's not really been a bad job so far. All right. Okay. Now, this bolt on the flywheel is a standard thread. It happens to be 14 on mine. And We'll show you the configuration of what I was using right there. I got it. Let's see. Let me see. I got a wrench. I have a crescent wrench on. There's there's a thing that the nut goes into, I mean the bolt goes into, and then I used a ratchet on the back, see, if you can see that in there, so there's, there it is there, that's a good picture right there, that's the best one I got so far, huh, but uh, you'll see there's a flat spot on either side of the crank, I guess, and then uh, I use that bolt, it's probably some kind of spacer, Maybe it's part of the flywheel. We'll, we will find out. I haven't done one of these yet, but this is a little exploration. Maybe I can see with that. Broke my mirror, so that truck is gone. But again, it's a pretty good shot of it right there. And you can just, it's a standard thread. It's not reverse or anything. The crescent wrench is propped against the bottom of the hole. It was a little bit to get it loose, but I'm trying to get this done without pulling the motor out. Because even though it's a pretty easy thing to do, it's a little time consuming. And I'd rather get in the water if I can. <laughs> I'm sure you can understand that. there with a slotted I don't know why it's slotted but there it is clean that up before you put it back and pop that off Let's see if we can get a better look Like I said, you can see the sides there where it's the wrench fit on it. But, uh, okay, there's that. Okay, the tools I'm going to need for this job are 13 sixteenths, 3 inch drive, 
on a shorty impact 3h drive also uh, I have a heat gun I've used 10 millimeter short and a ton, 10 millimeter long ratchet I've used this is I think a yeah that's a 14 millimeter on the oil pump drive the slot was for the oil pump drive since I don't have it I forgot kind of forgot I had an oil pump drive but I deleted that a long time ago on this skate but that's what that one fits and that goes in the end of the flywheel then to get the flywheel off I went to AutoZone and I bought this this is a and I've modified it a little bit this is a spark plug chaser 18 millimeter and uh, I think one one and a half thread off the top of my head now I had to cut it in half because I had another side on this one and I had to grind the end down flat because it wanted to groove into where this was going so I ground it flat I cut the end off and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down there I have my wrench supported in the opposite direction and I'm looking for the end Here it is. down in there and I'm going to thread it in now I got this off so it's going to be anticlimactic when I did this I'm just going back and showing you the video okay I torque it in there I supported a piece of wood underneath my ratchet so it doesn't blow through my I mean my uh, crescent wrench so it doesn't blow through my hull and I came down here with my 13 sixteenths in the off direction down in here I'll put this little bastard on here watch it fall off on doing it but okay and first off I took my heat gun and I heated that uh, the hub of the flywheel that's that was the hub of the flywheel that the crescent wrench sits on I heated that up I was getting a little nervous because I got gas sitting in there so you got to be careful and I got my compressor to go fully up to capacity and then I just gave her a little whiz and that's how she goes and that's how she popped right off she didn't go right at first but once i got the compressor up to full capacity she popped right off okay there's that little tool you reach in here you grab that boom you come in here the flywheel look at that magically off now i'm gonna have to clean all this stuff up of course but teeth all look good there's the tapered shaft there's the keyway i got to make sure the key didn't drop into the bottom there i guess take that out and look at that make sure that's in good shape stick my hand in there maybe i can feel it oh i feel the key right there no nothing that'll go right back on i won't have to time it and right here is my Oh, look how corroded that is. That will clean up, believe it or not. But I'm not going to waste the time on it. I'm just going to stick this new one in here. Put a little grease in the, on the ends. But say I can't turn that at all. That's what's, that's what's fucking up on it. That cost me to sail on this jet ski, actually. Twice. <laughs> But, uh, because I didn't have it fixed, two people were calling me. But if I can get this working good, I might not sell it. Because I, I was out on the river yesterday with the other two, and they were running like grease lightning. I forgot kind of how fun they were. I was too busy last year to go out on them. And so far this year, I've had a blast. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little grease on here. Then I'm going to reassemble. And we'll go from there. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and to like. There will be another video showing the reassemble. Alright, thanks a lot. Crash Man out.